Hello and welcome to Psychic Moon Tarot Reading. So today we are doing uh, how would your future spouse look like? What are their facial features going to be? What are their specific characteristics, their physical appearance, their build? Um, you know, their physical appearance, everything about their physical appearance and also any special characteristic that stands out as a personality trait. Any specific personality trait that stands out could be speaking skills or um, uh, anything, you know, I'm open to receive messages, anything that talks about what is the personality of your future spouse. This is the reading that you need to listen to. Okay, so if you're wondering who your future spouse is, what kind of a personality they are, how would they look like, how would they speak, all of that you are in the right place and this is the reading for you okay so you have uh three different crystals to choose from so pile one pile two and pile three pile one is a labradorite crystal pile two is an argonite crystal and pile number three is an amethyst crystal okay so take your time see which is the crystal that attracts you and uh, the description box will have the timestamp so you can go directly to your chosen pile and let's start with pile number one that is the labradorite crystal so whoever chose the labradorite crystal let's see how would your future spouse uh, look like group number one whoever chose the labradorite crystal uh, I'm going to pick cards from three different decks. So one of them is uh, the Arcanum Tarot. Okay. Uh, the other one is Tarot Muha. Okay, this is one of my very, very favorite decks, Tarot Muha. And the other deck that I'm using is uh, the Mythos Tarot. Okay, so in case you're wondering what decks I'm using, I would, um, I thought I would mention it because I also have, uh, you know, a bunch of people who are interested in learning tarot and uh, I thought that I would mention the decks that I'm using. Okay, so group number one, who is your future spouse? How would they look like? <clears throat> what are their facial features? Let me first find out what is the first impression of your future spouse group number one whoever chose the labradorite crystal Oops. So group number one, whoever chose the labradorite crystal, how would your future spouse look like? Group number one, how does your future spouse look like? Give me some specific facial characteristics or the first impression. When you first look at them, what do you notice? Group number one, people who chose the labradorite. The first thing that you notice about um, your future spouse, pile number one, is that, you know, they are very outspoken. The, this person is someone who is uh, very extrovert. They like to dress up in a way that uh, calls attention to them. Okay. Uh, this person is a party person. This person loves to socialize. This person loves to mingle with people. This person has a, a very, very friendly way of approaching others. Okay, even if you're meeting this person for the first time, this person will be very friendly with you. Okay, you will not, uh, you will not know uh, that you're seeing them for the first time. Okay, they are very talkative. And the first impression is that uh, they will speak a lot. Okay, they are very, very extrovert. They don't shy away from expressing what they want to say. 
That is what I'm noticing. Okay, that, that's the first impression. And also the way they dress is going to be very uh, extrovert kind. So they, they are not the one who will dress uh, modestly or shyly. They are very confident about their body. They are very confident of how they look, how they feel about their body. Uh, I see that they exercise a lot. They take care of their health. They, they take care of their physical body. And uh, I see that this person has a very, very beautiful uh, body structure. Okay, They are very lean, athletic, that kind of a structure. I see they also love to you know, work out. So work out is not a pressure for them. I see that they love to work out. They are into some kind of a workout schedule, be it dancing like Zumba, be it dancing or uh, gymming, anything. Okay, they are very active. So th th it shows upon their body. Okay, uh, they love to celebrate uh, their physical appearance. They know they look good. They know they have that charm. And they want to make the most of it and they care for it a lot. That's a very, very beautiful thing. Okay. I also see that this person um, is someone who has traveled the world a lot or they are going to travel the world a lot. So this person loves to travel. I see a lot of fire energy. Uh, for some, it's a fire energy. For some, I see it's a, it's a cusp. So I see a cusp between Scorpio and Sagittarius, okay? So this person could be uh, born between uh, between 21st, 22nd, 23rd of November and that kind of a birthday where they are a cusp between a Scorpio and a Sagittarius. And I'm talking about a Scorpio because I see that they have the qualities of a Scorpio where uh, a lot of their emotions are hidden. Okay, although this person speaks a lot, you would think that they'd say it all out, but they don't. Okay, what they speak is just the tip of the iceberg. They have a lot within. Okay, although they speak a lot, uh, this person is very secretive. They, this person hides a lot of their emotions. Okay, and they only open up with time. So they don't, you know, share their deepest emotions immediately. They take a lot of time to understand uh, how they feel about a person and only then they will open up. If they trust you, they, they take a lot of time to trust someone to start opening up, okay, emotionally. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, it's like you meet this person for the first time and they're very friendly. They will talk a lot. They will ask a lot about you. They will, they will tell a lot about themselves. Uh, they would be very, very easy to communicate with, uh, you know, conversations will flow on its own. You don't have to think before speaking to this person. But, okay, there's a but. There, there are a lot of hidden things. Uh, they keep a lot of secrets and that will come out slowly when they start trusting you, okay? So although you may seem that this person talks a lot, a lot and you know a lot about them, that's not true. What you know about them is very, very a fraction of what they truly are. They are very good at keeping secrets. If you tell a secret to this person, know that it is safe and sound with them. Okay, they're very, very trustworthy. Uh, this person is extremely loyal. Okay, uh, loyalty is something that is very, very crucial to this person. They will not tolerate uh, dishonesty, they will not tolerate disloyalty. Okay, they will not tolerate anyone who is uh, dishonest with them. Okay, so they would take their time to, you know, figure out, figure out what kind of a personality you are, what kind of a human being you are, are you trustworthy, and only then they will start opening up with their emotions to you. Okay. So that is the first impression that you will get. And you will get to know that in the first meeting itself, okay? The first time that you meet your future spouse, you will notice this thing that they talk a lot, but when you ask about some deeper personal questions, you will see that they will dodge it around very cleverly, okay? And you will get the, uh, 
you will get the sign that they are not comfortable and they will they know that they are going to take time to uh, open up to you okay so there are some deep dark secrets within them and uh, they would like to share with people only they trust that is something that is coming out very strongly and they, they love to travel the world okay they love adventure in their life uh, this person is someone who doesn't want uh, to get you know boredom to creep into their lives they want their lives to be very uh, exciting adventurous and have you know look forward to something new in their life okay this person is very very fun person to be with they are very very fun to be with you will enjoy uh, your life with this person that definitely shows up and this person is also very intuitive okay i see that this person has a very strong intuition and that intuition is coming from the scorpio energy in them they will have a very strong scorpio in their chart in their astrological chart uh what else group number one so the first impression will tell a lot about them something else about their facial features their favorite color will be red okay a deep dark red not a bright tomato red a very deep rich red is their favorite color it's like a rose red okay uh Something about their facial features, I see that their uh, eyes are going to be very sharp, very pricking eyes, very sharp eyes, not round, nice eyes. It's very sharp eyes, okay? Uh, when they look at you, it's like a very piercing glance. So they'll have long eyes. And their ears will be big, okay? There's something very noticeable about their ears. They'll have big ears, large ears. What else? Uh, group number one. How will your future spouse look like? They will have a very childlike aura, okay? They will be so much fun to be with. They are constantly, they're very excited about life for some reason, group number one, okay? Uh, your future spouse is going to be someone who is... Um, always in a very positive mode always ready to go explore the world you you just ask them for a plan and they are ready to you know um plan an itinerary to go for a trip somewhere um this person is very very uh ready to go explore adventure is always on their mind uh they love to travel traveling is something that they would thrive for okay um they have that inner child alive in them they are very childlike very happy very uh, excited um positive not the lazy kinds they're very active they're always on the go okay always on the go what else Uh, this person is very kind okay this person is very very patient okay uh, even even when times are tough even when times are difficult to handle even when they are angry I see that kindness is something that they prioritize okay it's very difficult but it's a very big quality mental strength okay when they are very agitated when they are angry about something if they are irritated about something even in those moments uh, they prefer being kind than just saying what they feel like saying they they they're very compassionate they feel a lot for what the other person is going to feel if they say a certain thing okay in anger so they are very very uh, conscious about what words they choose when they are angry okay this person has a lot of patience this person is very compassionate um, they have a lot of empathy for others they're very kind and you know they have that skill to handle a difficult situation 
with a lot of uh, grace okay grace is the exact word that i was looking for they have a lot of grace in them so no matter how difficult situa the situation is they will never lose their grace so that's a very beautiful quality to have uh let me see some other characteristics of this person what other characteristics of this person come out of your future spouse group number one Okay, so a facial feature that I see that, uh, you know, definitely they have very strong piercing eyes and uh, they have very defined eyebrows, okay? Their eyebrows are something that is very defined. They could have uh, like very bushy eyebrows. So their eyebrows, their, their specific, specifically this part stands out. So I see that is something that stands out uh, when you first meet them. Their eyes and their eyebrows stand out. Bushy eyebrows. What else? Uh, you will find a lot of calm in them okay this person although is so full of fire so full of energy so always ready to uh, take a trip always ready for adventure always on the go although there is so much going on inside them you will find this person very calm they're very centered their energy is very grounded very calm uh, normally if someone is always so excited always so extrovert and they have so much to say they're always around on the go it's easy for someone to get distracted it's easy for them to you know have their energy scattered all over the place but this person is not like that okay your future spouse is someone who although is so full of life so full of energy always ready to you know pounce on something get their hands on something uh, get to work or uh, achieve their goals very determined self-focused self-motivated um, I see that they are very grounded okay they have a lot of uh, centeredness okay they are very the energy is very focused okay and that is what keeps them very calm okay you don't see them overwhelmed you don't see them stressed you don't see them um, you know, worried, anxious, or, uh, you know, even if there is a difficult time going on in their lives, you will not make it out from their face. You will not know what's going wrong in their life because they are so calm and centered uh, within themselves. They know how to manage their energy, okay? And that comes from a lot of their, you know, spiritual powers, they have a very strong intuition. Their third eye is very active. And, uh, you know, they, they their subconscious mind is very much in their control. The moon card is telling me that they have a very good um, connection with their subconscious mind. Uh, they know how to channel their mind and their, you know, they know how to make use of their subconscious mind to make their lives uh positive okay uh, they know how to tap on to their subconscious mind in order to manifest what they want okay so there's a lot of self-reflection they think a lot about themselves they think a lot about their negatives their positives how can they make themselves better you know they spend a lot of time on self introspection on self contemplation and that that is what uh, makes them a better human being every single day okay they are constantly trying to improve themselves they're constantly trying to make themselves better uh, be it physically or internally okay they are constantly on the go working on themselves 
improving um, themselves as a better human being. So that's a very, very good quality. What else do you need to know about your future spouse group number one? What do you need to know about your future spouse group number one? Uh, Queen of Swords. I see that uh, for some of you, this person could be, um, you know, this person could have a very strong sense of judgment. Okay. Uh, even if you have a problem and you go to them, you know that this person will always give you the right uh, answer. They will not sugarcoat it. They will not lie to you. They will give you the honest answer. What you need to know at that moment. Okay, this is a person who is a trusted friend. This is a person whom you can trust absolutely blindly because this person will never lie to you, will never sugarcoat anything or flatter you just for the sake of it. If they say something, they mean it. Okay, if they say you look beautiful, you should, you would rather go run to the Miss Universe contest and fill a form for yourself because this, if they say you are beautiful, they really mean it. And they don't say it's so easy. Okay. They have very high standards. So you are beautiful coming from that person's mouth. This person's mouth is a huge compliment. Okay. Don't expect this person to lie to you just to make yourself happy. This person is uh, not the one who believes in fake uh, compliments. This person is someone who absolutely 100% believes in what they say okay they believe 100% uh, in uh, you know what is coming out of their mouth holds a lot of authenticity it's not for the sake of saying something that uh, they are saying it to you okay there is a lot of uh, they mean it when they say that is what I'm trying to say here And they're very sharp, okay? This person is very sharp. They're intellectual. Uh, they, they, they have a very, very high intellectual uh, personality. They're very sharp. They, ha they have a very high IQ. Four of Wands. You know, success means a lot to them. Success in everything. Success in marriage. Success in their work success in whatever they do you know whatever they get into the only thing that they have in mind is success they don't like failures they don't want uh you know they're not doing anything to failure is not an option to them okay they are so confident and they are so outspoken and they're so getting ready for the success that they are aiming for that failure is not an option for them and that's a very, very big quality. What else? Group number one. What else do you need to know about your future spouse? This person will have brown eyes. Okay. So dark brown eyes, I see. What else do you need to know about your future spouse, group number one? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune comes up again and that tells me that, you know, uh, they are ever busy. The, you will never see them sitting quietly at one place. They're always doing something. They're always, uh, they're always on the go. Okay? Even if they after their work work hours they have some kind of a passion to follow they're doing something or the other all the time they're never sitting quietly in one place they're very very laborious they're very hard working work means worship to them okay um they have very very sharp focus at work 
What does love mean to them? What does love mean to your future spouse? Love means kindness, compassion, patience. Okay? They truly believe that love is all about being kind to the other person. Love is all about being selflessly compassionate, being generous, being uh, patient with the other person. And that is love. So this person has a very, very mature idea about love. This person is not someone who is like, wh whose idea about love is flimsy. No, this is not that person. This person is very mature. Um, you know, this card talks about itself. When they, when they think about love, it's a, about feeling safe, feeling secured, feeling protected by the person uh, you love, okay? You have that feeling of comfort. You know that this person is never ever going to harm you no matter how difficult things are. No matter what the situation is, this person is never ever going to um, cause you hurt, uh, harm, you know? You can be vulnerable to this person. You can, you can drop your... Uh, you know, you can drop your boundaries with this person. This person will always make you safe. This person will always make you protected, uh, guarded with a lot of love, kindness and compassion is what I see. This person is very, very compassionate. Okay. And uh, another important uh, feature that I see that this person loves animals. Okay. Uh, this person is a huge animal lover because I see the lion twice. Okay, most probably this person is going to be a cat lover. Okay, and someone who loves cats. I have a very uh, deep connection to people who love cats because cats is, loving cats is not easy. Okay, uh, so this person is very selfless in love. They don't care whether the person, when whether the other person is loving them or giving them attention. If they love somebody, they will give, they will give their, their all to that person. Okay, so that is what I see for you. Group number one, I hope this was helpful. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe if you're new here because I post videos every single day. And if you want to learn tarot, please join the channel membership so you have access to the lessons that I'm putting up. Okay, so I will see you in the next uh, reading and let's move to group number two now. So group number two, whoever chose uh, the Argonite crystal, let's find out how will your future spouse look like? Uh, what are the specific uh, characteristics that will stand out to you in the first meeting? Uh, how will you find, what is their first impression going to be like? Group number two, whoever chose the Argonite Group number two, whoever chose the Argonite, how is your future spouse going to be like? Anything that stands about their personality, stands out about their personality. Six of Swords. Um, I say that this person's, you know, your future, but your future spouse's personality is going to be very calming, uh, very soft spoken, very healing. OK, the way they talk is going to be very, very calming, very, very healing. Uh, they will talk very slowly. OK, they will talk in a way that is very uh stable and slow and when you speak with them uh, you will feel that you're talking to a healer or you're talking to a counselor because uh, their way of speaking is very healing okay probably it's their voice i see that they have a very uh, low pitch voice a very uh, a voice that is very healing very soft to listen to uh, very healing definitely so says that their voice this the way we, they speak their voice is extremely extremely healing so six of swords is the card that i see and i am immediately picking up that their way of communication is very very healing 
and that is going to impress you the first thing that you will notice about them a color that uh, that stands out to me is blue green okay so either they are wearing blue green or uh, it's their favorite color either blue or green so those kind of tints or teal uh, teal blue blue with a hint of green in it you know a very very watery kind of colors uh, is what they like um, this person is a loner okay this person loves you know they spend hours working alone and they don't even realize that they have spent hours working on something uh, they can get lost in their work Okay, I see uh, the energy of an artist here. I see the energy of someone who is doing something with a lot of dedication, with a lot of eye for detail, with a lot of passion. Okay, and they are, they believe in proving their skills by doing it over and over again. They love to practice their skills to the point that they are flawless they are a perfectionist okay they are a perfectionist that that is for sure they love perfection uh, this person will have very short hair okay so be it a man or a woman even if it's a woman um, this person will have short hair for sure and if it's a man they'll have really really short hair Uh, their work will will involve doing something with their hands okay creating something with their hands uh, a, a craftsmanship art creating any kind of art uh, they are very good with their hands that is what I see For some they could have the talent of carving something they could be carving wood they could be carving stones okay something related to carving they'll have very strong hands uh, this person will have very you know square palms strong hands not delicate hands not slender fingers they'll have very strong hands uh, be it man or a woman but very strong hands What else? What else you need to know about your uh, future spouse? Group number two. You know, this person is going to be very dreamy. I already get the energy of an artist, of someone who speaks slowly, uh, someone who, you know, thinks twice before saying anything. They, You know, a conversation with this person will be very slow they'll have a will they'll take a lot of time to say what they have to say it's like a very slow conversation very healing conversation and they're very dreamy about the way they talk they are very very they think a lot okay i see the four of cups energy here and they spend a lot of time uh thinking they spend a lot of time feeling themselves um dreamy energy Okay, they have a lot of hopes and dreams and they like to spend a lot of time uh, planning in their heads and their mind. Okay, so the energy of this person is very dreamy, artistic kind of a personality is what I see. Uh, what sun signs come up? What sun signs? Again, the four of they, this person will have a strong four, six, or eight in their birthday, in the date of birth. So, I would say uh, 1986, 1984, uh, year, you know, year of birth. Or they will have, you know, four, six, and eight anywhere in the date of birth. I, either an August born, June born, uh, April born, 
or 4th of April, 8th of August, 6th of August. Okay, something of that sort. They'll have a strong 4, 6, 8 in their date of birth for sure. 4 is definitely going to be in their birthday. The date of birth. Okay, 4. Um, so 4th of any month or 8th of any month. This person will um, will have a very, very peaceful, calm personality because um, they do meditate or they do something that centers their energy. Uh, either they, they do yoga or some kind of a practice that channels their energy in a way that they are uh, centered. Okay, I see that they work with their hands. So while they're doing it, I see that they meditate. Meditating is not just uh, sitting in a quiet position, closing your eyes and uh, putting your focus on one thing. Meditation could be uh, applying makeup. Meditation could be painting, could be doing something that, uh, that, that, that gives you a lot of calm and peace when you're doing that, okay? So I see that this person meditates on a daily basis and that is what centers their energy. That is what makes them uh, so calm. That is what gives them this aura of very centered, grounded, uh, healer kind of an energy. Okay. The most important uh, characteristic of this person that stands out to me till now is that this person is very, very, uh, you know, they have a very peaceful aura about them. You can't get stressed with this person ever. Okay, even if you're anxious, even if you're stressed and you meet this person, you will automatically calm down because their aura is so calming. Their aura is so uh, healing, so, so beautiful. Okay, they have that angelic aura about them. Uh, they, ha they are born healers. They are absolutely born healers. This person, whoever your future spouse is. And they are very romantic by nature. Okay, They are very dreamy. Uh, they have, what is their idea about love? Let me see. What, what, is, what, do they, what do they think about love? What is love to them? What does love mean to them? Look, this person is so romantic. This person is a dreamer. This person loves to visualize everything. It's like if they are buying you a gift, they will visualize uh, you with that gift. They will visualize how would you feel? Uh, what feelings would you have? Would you like it? Uh, what would you say to them when you receive the gift? You know, they will imagine a lot of things before actual things happen. So I see they're very imaginative. They have a very, very strong imagination power. They can visualize a lot and they love to visualize things, okay? Uh, when they meet, when you meet them for the first time, I see that they'll spend a lot of time, you know, thinking about you, visualizing you in different scenarios. And um, they're very romantic by nature, okay? They are very dreamy. So their idea about love is, is about dreaminess. Okay, their idea about love is a uh, fantasy, you know, thinking of the wildest things about love. Okay, uh, writing poems, writing songs, you know, their idea of gift is very unique. So what they think about love is like love is a very, very dreamy approach to them, a very poetic. They have... A very poetic idea about love for some reason. Group number two. Okay. Hopeless romantics is what I would say. Okay. Hopeless romantics. Uh, their idea of romance is very artistic. It's like a very movie style. What else do you need to know about your future spouse? Any facial features that stands out? Any facial features that stands out? I 
I see this person will have, uh, you know, their hairstyle will not be, uh, they will have short hair, but they have, you know, a very bouncy, soft textured hair. Their hair is going to be not the, that, you know, harsh types. Their hair will be very soft and flowy. I see even if their hair is short, they'll have like wavy hair. The texture of the hair is soft and wavy, pretty curly too. Uh, a sun sign that is standing out to me is a water sign, okay? Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer. Okay, so water sign... I see a lot of water in this uh, this personality. So I'm hoping that, you know, this person could be a strong water element person. Let, let me pick up a card. It just fell. Uh, so either a water sign or an earth sign. Okay. King of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Uh, I see that this person could have a very strong earth element in their chart. Uh, either their moon sign or a rising sign could be an earth element. So work-wise, I see that this person is going to be very stable in their work. They're very grounded and I see that they, they work some they are a uh, you know a self dependent person they don't like to work for others they like to work for themselves so i see that they have an independent uh working style they work for themselves they are self employed or they have a business of their own and they like to uh work very hard on it okay this person doesn't work for someone else for sure this person doesn't work in a corporate or a nine to five job or anything like that. This person works for themselves. Um, okay, let me pick up another deck to find out any other facial features that stand out. How do they look like? How do they look like? How does your future spouse look like? Group number two. Whoever chose the Argonite, how does your future spouse look like? Uh, again, the eight of coins come. This person will have tattoos on their body for sure. Okay, more than one. This person is an artist. This person loves to express themselves through art. They are uh, someone who appreciates art, loves art, has a lot of art on their body as tattoos. Uh, definitely tattoos on their, specifically on their arms. Okay, on their arms, they will have tattoos. Tattoos of anything that they resonate with. There's something about the moon that uh, they resonate with. They could have a moon tattoo like I have. Okay, they could have a moon tattoo or something related to a moon. Uh, they could wear a moon pendant or if it's a girl, they could wear moon earrings. They will have some fascination with the moon, definitely. Any other facial features? What would they look like? Anything about their appearance that stands out? Group number two. Anything about their appearance that stands out? They will have beautiful hands and also something that stands out to, to me is that they will have an obsession with hands, okay? They would look at your hands uh, because they like to keep their hands beautiful. So they have some kind of an obsession with hands. So I see that uh, 
they would always want you to have your hands tip, tip top and very nicely kept if you are a woman they would like you to have your hands uh, in a way that is always very beautifully done up always manicured or something like that uh, because they have some kind of an obsession with hands okay and uh, they themselves like to keep their hands very beautiful and all nice and neat and clean okay so they take care of their hands uh, if this person is a sculptor I see that they will sculpt a lot of hands uh, if if they are a painter if they are an artist you know the details that they put in their art is always a lot on the hands because they have that obsession about hands for some reason that stands out to me anything else curly hair for sure most of you i see that this person has curly hair curly or wavy hair You know, the colors that they would wear most of the time would be either, you know, pale colors, neutral, earth colors is what they like, you know, neutral, uh, pale, beige, whites, or maximum they would go for a blue or a green. They don't like bright colors. They don't like, uh, you know, reds and all. They don't. They don't appreciate that. They like very neutral, cool toned, uh, natural, earthy colors. Anything else that stands out for you? Group number two. How would your future spouse look like? What is their personality? Anything about them that stands out to me? Group number two. Your future spouse appearance. Uh... I see that their body will be very balanced okay they're neither neither stout nor thin okay very balanced body uh, and you know also their style would be very very uh, balanced either they're not too over fashioned or not too uh, you know not overly dressed or underly dressed they like to balance their the way they look okay uh they like to balance um how they come up as a personality because composition is very important since they have that artistic flair since they are very artistic in their mind i see that balancing what they wear is very important to them so you will always see them very well synchronized with the colors that they wear uh, how to come across a very balanced personality like from head to toe everything will be in the perfect uh, balance okay no nothing no extra thing will stand out very well put up uh, the way they dress or the way they come across okay the personality is also definitely balanced uh, they're neither too they're not they're neither introvert nor extrovert okay they're very balanced personality overall so in every aspect, I see a lot of balance because I see the temperance card and this is the epitome card for balance. This person will also be very diplomatic, okay? They, they will never say anything, any, anything harsh to anyone. So if someone is asking for an opinion, they would uh, say it very diplomatically. They will, uh, they will not, they will give a true uh, express they will they will say what they honestly feel but they will say it in a very diplomatic way in a very balanced way that doesn't hurt the other person you know the temperance and the page of cups uh, have come twice in your spread and that is telling me that uh, you know this person is definitely uh, you know they have a very watery flowy uh kind of a personality they like to you know they're very emotional okay they're very very emotional and although they uh, hide a lot of their emotions but when they express uh it's like very beautiful okay uh 
they like the depth of emotions they like to see the depth of emotions in their partners as well because they themselves are very emotional okay i see that having a very beautiful heart to heart conversation uh is very important to them okay they want to have that bond with their partner where they can express each other uh like flowing water okay like no barriers like you can say anything to them you can have a beautiful flowing conversation with them a healing conversation with them so i see that exchanging uh emotions exchanging um uh, feelings is very very important to them in a relationship what else do you need to know about your future spouse group number 2 What else do you need to know about your future spouse? Uh this person is very sensitive, okay? I told you this person is all about the feelings. So you need to be careful that you don't hurt them because if you hurt them, uh it's like it's going to stay with them for a long long time. It's like consider them as, you know, soft wax. When you stamp something on molten wax on soft wax it stays right and you will have to heat it up, up again so that 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 mark goes so similarly i see that this person your future spouse's heart is so soft it's like they tend to get hurt easily so they're very emotional okay their emotions are very very soft they get hurt easily so you need to be careful that you don't hurt their feelings because uh they will never hurt you and they expect the same from you so i see that this person is someone who is uh who has a tendency of you know if once hurt they have the tendency to hold on to that hurt for a long time so it's very important for you to be open to them if something is wrong in your relationship even if after marriage uh there is something that is bothering you it's better that you have a heart to heart conversation with them have an honest conversation with them tell them what's wrong tell them uh what is bothering you in a very loving way in a very uh soft and gentle way so that you don't hurt them okay because if you are aggressive with them if you are uh taking them for granted or if you are uh you know provoking them in some way then this person is going to hold back their emotions and this person will stop uh showing their emotions to you because they'll not trust you anymore so that is what you need to take care about them this consider that your future spouse is someone who is very soft hearted and you need to be careful of how you handle them because their heart is very fragile okay they have the heart of a very fragile uh, person so uh, that is what poor thing okay group number 2 uh that was your reading i really enjoyed reading for you and i hope you enjoyed this reading too let me know in the comment section if you like this reading and if you did don't forget to hit the like button that is like the little energy exchange that you do for me subscribe if you haven't uh that would mean so much to me because i'm doing all of this for free and if you want to learn tarot with me join uh my membership you will see the join button on my channel you can join the membership so that you get access to the videos that i'm putting up uh only for members and i will see you in a next reading very soon so let's move to group number 3 now so group number 3 whoever chose uh this a pile the amethyst let's find out how does your future spouse uh look like okay so group number 3 let's find how does your future spouse look like what are uh, the major facial characteristics facial features or what's what's that one thing that you first notice when you meet them okay let's start with that 
What is that one thing that you first notice when you meet them? Group number three, whoever chose the amethyst, what is it that you first notice when you first uh, meet your future spouse? What is that first thing that you notice uh, when you meet your future spouse for the first time? The first thing that you notice about them is uh, that they are very wise. Okay. They have that aura of wisdom around them. They're very wise. They're someone who, you know, will ooze wisdom. Uh, they might have a very high degree, educational degree. They might have lots of degrees. Okay. They could be, you know, you know, like how doctors have a number of degrees or a PhD, a postdoctorate, okay, they have a very strong educational background. So I see that uh, they have, they would have high, one high, at least one high degree or, you know, multiple high degrees. So they would have studied a lot, gone through, been through a lot of ed educational institutions. This person could also be associated with some uh, highly reputed educational institution could be a professor could be a researcher or something like that okay they have a very strong influence uh, in the education field or they have some connection with the education field uh, very wise hmm. strong communicator very strong in their communication skills Eight of Wands. Um, I see that this person could be a teacher. Okay, teacher or a professor. And they speak a lot to spread knowledge on what they what what knowledge they have. So definitely somebody who teaches or counsels, you know, could be a counselor too. You know, the profession involves speaking to a lot of people and they're very good at it. Okay, they're very, very good at it. So communication skills, their communication skill is on point, absolutely flawless, impeccable way of speaking. And that is the first thing that you will notice about them. Okay. You will be highly impressed by the way they speak. Okay. What sun sign is uh, is coming up? File number three. Whoever chose the amethyst. What sun signs come up? Uh, so I see uh, the major fixed signs. Okay. Cancer. Aries. Uh, Cancer, Aries, uh, Virgo, and Leo. These four signs come up. Okay. Cancer, Virgo, Leo, Aries. Not Leo, I think. I, th I see Cancer, uh, Cancer, Virgo, Leo. And Gemini. Okay, these four signs come up. What else do you need to know about your future spouse? Um, they have a very strong earth element in their chart. Okay. Uh, I see that this person has a liking for very unusual pets. Okay. Either fish or rabbits. They love animals. And uh, 
they like they will have a pet or they'll have an aquarium or they will have rabbits that they keep okay so they will have very uncommon pets not everyone like everyone has has dogs or cats but this person will have an aquarium or you know rabbits or hamsters okay something like that uh, what else You know, they, this person has a very interesting mix of characteristics, uh, you know, in their personality. On one side, they are so highly educated. On one side, you know, they have a high uh, list of colleges that they have been through, very reputed colleges that been, they've been through. Uh, they're very intellectual. They're highly educated. They have a very, uh, you know, serious aura to them. They're full of wisdom. They're full of knowledge and on the other side uh, I see that they love to enjoy life okay they're very playful okay they have a very nice balance about these two different personalities that they have okay so I see that on one side that this person is like the hierophant energy on the other side they also have this two of pentacles energy where they like to you know make the most of their time okay even if they have little time with you, they will make sure that you guys have fun. Okay. So I see that this person is very, very focused towards, towards their career, towards their uh, very careeristic. Definitely. They are very focused towards what they want to achieve in their life uh, careeristically. But the amount of time that they spend with you, it's like focused on you okay they are very uh, they will make sure that the amount of time that uh, they are with you they will value that a lot okay so I see that they have the capability of uh, being that light-hearted person even though they have a very heavy and strong personality so that's a very uh, unique personality mix that I see You know, they're fun to be with. They are very caring, okay? They love to care for people. They love to care for animals. Uh, they're very caring. They have a very, very caring nature. Let me see something about their facial features. What do they look like? Group number three, whoever chose uh, the amethyst. What do uh, they look like? What are the facial features? What are the facial features that stand out? Group number three. What do they look like? Okay. So, you know, the facial features that stand out is their mouth. Okay, they'll have full lips. Even if it's a guy, even if it's a man, they'll have full lips. They'll not have thin lips. You know, you see some men with thin lips or women with thin lips. They, this person has full lips like this. Okay. And they have a wide mouth. Okay. Their mouth is wide. They have full lips and wide mouth. And their jawline is very strong, very squarish jawline. Okay. So they have a very strong, uh, the lower part of their face is very chiseled. What else? Facial features that stand out. Group number three. Facial features of your future spouse. Facial features of your future spouse, group number three. I see that uh, this person would love to uh, have some kind of a facial hair, okay, if, if it's a man, okay. So they would like to keep uh, their beard or mustache in a specific way.
show me some specific facial features if it's a woman facial features if it's a woman uh, you know if uh, your future spouse if uh, this is a woman I see that they will have their hair uh, cut short around their forehead they'll have probably bangs like that or they'll have uh, their forehead uh, a big chunk of their forehead covered with hair so their hairstyle will be something like that so will they they will have some kind of a hair on their face if it's a woman they'll have their forehead uh, covered with some hair or if it's a man I see that they would like to have their beard covered with hair they'll have beard cut in a specific way that it covers a large part of their jaw and it, it focuses the chiseledness of their uh, jawline okay their mustache and their beard is cut in a way that focuses their jawline and if it's a woman they'll have some hair on their forehead like they'll have that bangs on their forehead okay like this okay so that is uh, very strongly uh, coming uh, in your reading what else what else group number three what else do you need to know about your future spouse uh, of th their appearance how would they look like they will have a very beautiful attractive body okay their body is going to be very attractive uh, you know um, very well kept body okay whether it's a man or a woman i see that they'll have the perfect body okay this is a very chiseled body that i see what else What else you need to know about your future spouse group number three I see that um, something that stands out to me as your future spouse is that uh, they will have a very uh, you know strong a sense of connection with feminine energy okay so if this is a man I see that they will have very very high respect for women okay they have very high morals and virtues for women uh, specifically their ideologies for women is going to be very strong okay this is a uh, this is a very good quality for a man and if this is a woman, I see that this woman is going to be very feminist. Okay, whoever it is, your future spouse, be it a man or a woman, I see that they'll have very, very strong uh, support and belief system uh, towards women. Okay, so that stands out to me. Like they worship women. Okay, feminism is what they support. Anything for women. That is the kind of energy that I see. And that's why they are blessed with Venus energy. Okay. If you are respecting uh, women, if, if, if a man respects the women in the house uh, or anywhere, I see that, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a truth that, you know, that man is blessed with a lot of Venus energies. They will have a lot of wealth in their lives. They'll never have difficulties they will always be blessed with a very very charming personality they will have that enigmatic personality about them because they will be they will be always blessed with venus energy because they uh, prioritize women they respect women okay goddess lakshmi bless, blesses them and goddess lakshmi is a uh, venus energy okay so i see that they have a very strong connection with their mother and they will also have a very beautiful connection with your mother, okay, your future spouse. So the mother energy is very strong in their lives, okay. Uh, 
and they're very nurturing okay they believe to nurture anyone in their lives they believe to nurture uh, whomever they love uh, with all the love and care okay people in their lives are very important to them you know people whom they love are very important and dear to them and they shower a lot of love and nurture uh, to these people even as friends they will have a lot of female friends and uh, you know they all these female friends will love this person <clears throat> will love your future spouse because uh, they have a lot of that bond is there you know that bond of deep affection and respect is there so that's what i see okay <clears throat> this person is a king of cups okay so i, I see a strong water element too uh, uh cancer energy so they have very deep emotions for women they feel very deeply for women um uh, and you know i see that uh they love to go that extra mile to make a woman happy they love to do something extra uh to bring a smile on a woman's face so that's very important to them they're very passionate about uh women especially respecting women what else stands out to you uh to me uh for you group number 1 what else stands out anything about their personality what is their idea about love what is what do they think about love group number 3 what is your future spouse's idea about love what do they think and feel what is love to them what does love mean to them that's beautiful i see the star card okay and that tells a lot to me that this person is so you know this person sees love as a hope a ray of hope this person feels that love is that light that light energy that you know lightens up a dark room or lightens up a dark soul so he this person he or she whoever it is your future spouse this person sees love as light energy and that's very deep okay they see the love energy as something that holds the potential to spark up someone's life to lighten up someone's life okay what else group number 3 what else stands out about their personality group number 3 the magician i told you that they have a very strong way of communication and that is being validated again uh with the magician card here and i see that uh they have a lot of skills okay So this is coming to me as someone who is multi-talented. Okay, you may find out with a over a period of time, this man or this woman may not disclose everything that they have in one go. I see that they have a lot of skills, and you will uh, discover these skills about them with time, with every passing year as you spend with them. You will be astonished. You will be surprised to see these skills. uh coming out as secrets okay you never knew for example you spent 5 years with your husband or your wife and suddenly you you realize that they sing so beautifully okay um or uh you never realize that they have this uh beautiful way of decorating anything okay uh be it a uh, flower decoration or decorating for a party or something like that unless you have had that opportunity where you put them to uh, a a time and space where 
they had to decorate a, a party setup or something okay that's when you realized after five years of marriage you realized that they are so talented in decorating a party space something like that okay probably you shift into a new house and the the way they decorate the house is uh, it's astonishing okay you never knew about this hidden talent about them okay so i see that they have a lot of hidden talents and you uh, slowly find out these talents about them with every passing year so they are like uh, an ever evolving mystery for you in their in your life your future spouse is that spark of light that is ever evolving they are uh, it's like you're peeling the onion uh, it's like you're peeling the onion or you know one by one the layers are falling off and you are discovering something new about them every year you know so that's the energy that i see that they are multi multi talented uh, people group number 3 whoever you've chosen okay so they have a huge amount of talents and uh, you are going to only uh, uh, you know know them with time so there's a lot to explore uh, for you in your future spouse and that's why you know i took some time to understand the specific characteristics of your future spouse because they they were coming out uh, in bits and pieces they were not coming out as you know as everything together like i did for the other piles so this was uh, opening itself slowly but you know patiently and very very slowly so that's the energy of your uh, spouse they will reveal their talents slowly and steadily not everything at once so that was your reading i hope this was helpful you if you enjoyed this reading don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you are new and uh, i would love to see you in a new reading till then take care bye bye